this month's edition of Fashion's little host chatter something or another, whatever we want to call it. I uh, hope you guys are all doing well. This month and this time we are going to, oh, this is Lauren. Lauren, say hello to everybody. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, gift giving since we're going into the month of December and all of the fun things that happen with gift giving. Uh, good <laughs> gifts, bad gifts, great gifts. I'm trying to rhyme. It's not going. But gift giving. So, like, there's so many different, I think, avenues of gift giving and gift receiving. True. That happen within Christmas. True. What's one of the, like, first things that comes to your head? First things that come to my head is gift cards because they drive me nuts. I give gift cards to groups of people. I love gift Maybe, cards. like, a volunteer thank you. But other than that, you cannot give a thank you card to somebody that you care about. Uh, not true because <laughs> I like <laughs> getting gift cards because then I can pick out what I want. Okay, but a gift card is like, oh, I mean, I kind of thought about you a little bit and here's $20 with or, your name on it. Or I know that you really like Forever 21, so here's a gift card to go buy yourself. Yeah, but, how, but then you're going to buy something from Forever 21 and you're not going to link it to the person that gave it to you. Sure. The best part about a sweater is it's like, oh, Brittany gave this to me. No, I'll put it on. I'll be like, oh, Lauren gave me this gift card that bought this sweater. Brittany saw this piece uh, of clothing and whatever. said, this is for Lauren. No. That's why gift cards are a no-no. Whatever. We'll agree to disagree. Next. <laughs> <laughs> What else do you think? Uh, I hate having a list. I don't like when people give me their list. Okay. I think it's a little presumptuous. I'm like, oh, you don't think I know you well enough to pick something out, a.k.a. gift cards. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma always asks for gifts, uh, lists. Okay, but does your grandma live with you? No. See? But I hate it. Exception to the rule. I hate having to write out a list. Yeah, because Why? it's like, here are all the things I want you to give me. Yeah. That's and, fun. And because I have to think about it, I never know, like, off the top of my head, oh, well, I want something. No. Unless, there's, like, one thing that I do, like, um, I collect stuff for a Christmas village. So for me, that's always super easy. Like, okay, that's what I want for Cute. Christmas. Well, that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. And people who don't know you very well might think, oh, Christmas village, Brittany. Right. But for the people who know me, I feel like yeah. when we go shopping or when we hang out, yeah. like, you pretty much know what you're going to get me. Right. And vice sense. versa. I don't like being like, tell me all the things you expect me to get you. Because then I'm like, well, I don't have enough money for any of that. Right. So <laughs> right. here's a gift card. Yeah. No, that makes sense. <laughs> like, I would know to buy you a t-shirt with, like, gangster rap lyrics exactly. on it. Here's $15 yeah. towards that $150 exactly. gift you really yeah. want. Yeah, right, which is really hard. No. I think, um, I think for me, it's hard uh, getting a gift that I'm like, oh, I don't like this gift. Yeah, man, I remember somebody bought me a gift uh, or something that like I kind of already had something similar. Yeah, and so I was like, here's the deal. I'm gonna take this back. You told and I them? sold them to their face and I thought good. it was great. And then I got to tell them what they bought me. And now huh. they love that. So I guess that kind of that's funny. I always feel like because um, again, like there's my grandparents or well, my grandmother. Uh, she is super hip. So, like, the most part, like, I asked for a pair of blue, uh, black boots, and she ended up buying me gray Juicy Couture boots, which was perfectly fine. I was like, okay, Graham, this works for me. <laughs> yeah. But, like, um, so she's, she knows, for the most part, like, the things that I like. But, you know, like, sometimes every once in a while, like, there's that relative that, like, gives you something, and you're like... Oh, I didn't want a purple elephant sweater. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's like it's like opening a gift and you're like, oh, how do I act like I love this when I really hate it? Or what about opening a gift that you already know what's inside? How do you act? Oh like that? gosh, that one's hard. <laughs> That's really hard. Cause you're like, oh, like my dad knows. You knew you were getting it. And I'm like, ah. Those people should be fired from the holidays. Okay, how do you handle that though? You don't. You do not snoop around the house looking for what your gifts are. <laughs> my Stop being that. a ruiner of all <laughs> things good and happy. <laughs> Stop that! You should be fired from Christmas. Stop oh, it! I love it though. Like sometimes, actually, I don't like to know because then, like for me, I hate uh, opening something up that I already knew I was gonna get because I'm like, oh, Christmas it sucks. Steals the fun away. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. waking up on Christmas morning and like looking at boxes. Like yeah. that could be those boots that I've been really wanting, yeah. or that could be. And then you open it and it's not the boots. And yeah. It's something way different, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, at our house for Christmas, my grandma again. Uh, grandma. She. She'll buy, like, a pack of socks, and she'll wrap, like, one pair of socks in each box. Well, she hasn't done that in a long, long time, but she used to. Nobody has time for that. Well, and then it's, like, you know, like, when you're opening up all your gifts, and, like, you have, like, you know, all of them, and then you have the last gift, and you're, like, oh, my gosh. It sucks. And then you realize, oh, I've already opened up five pairs. It's the last pair. And, then, like, you're so upset that, like, your last gift on Christmas is a pair of, like, white socks. <laughs> like, That's real. It's, like, ah. Oh. That's real. Yeah. Okay, so what about, like, um, white elephant gifts? <laughs> I love my elephant gifts. I work like seven different jobs over the holidays sometimes. And so 
every Christmas party is a white elephant because no one wants to invest in a secret Santa anymore. Yeah. Which so everything I is white elephant. Secret Santa, by the way. So I got smart last year and I said, here's the deal. I really want a collection of mason jars. So for every white elephant party I went to, I bought a mason jar and I stuck something cute in it. And then I picked out my own white elephant gift and guess who has a collection of mason jars? <laughs> and gift cards are insensitive. <laughs> Excuse me, white elephants were never let me buy the poster myself, of sensitivity. My own white Come elephant on. gift. Come on. Okay, <laughs> white elephant is lame for everybody. It's all about the game itself. It's not about the price. Yeah. I do like white elephant gifts, but then sometimes I won't lie. Like, if I get a white elephant gift that, like, I know I'm not going to use, it's I'll, re I'll re gift it. Yeah, then you save it for next year. <laughs> yeah. I have, like, a cupboard yeah. of things underneath my closet that's, like, re gift for next year. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Weird little, like, turtle lights. I'm like, why do you ever own these? Why did you ever buy this in the first place? Turtle lights. Yeah, they're like sparkly turtle like lights like for decoration. And I was like, well, um, and I was at like an adult party at that point, so yeah. there was no going back. I was like, okay. Huh. Have you guys ever watched Friends? Do you ever watch the yeah, show Friends? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Rachel, there's an episode <laughs> where she's like, someone tells her to like wear some necklace. I think it's Ross, and he tells her to wear a necklace um, that he bought for her, and she's like, oh okay like she pretends that that's the necklace but she took it back and they all give her like a really hard time because they're like they're like you're such a horrible like you take everything back <laughs> and so I think like sometimes like I feel bad when I take gifts back mm -hmm. because it's like uh somebody's I money up to on it. this do you oh yeah I used to call my grandma and be like grandma listen really liked what you bought me but I'm gonna take it back yeah. and I, it was never like that insensitive or that cold right. but we talked about it. and my I mom knows my mom doesn't have clothes anymore. So yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Cindy takes everything back. People, I just learned. Yeah. <laughs> people learn, though. I Like, my mom knows. She doesn't buy me clothes because You'll she take doesn't. Back. Yeah, because well, I don't like see, it. See, with that, I can always be like, oh, well, it didn't fit. Yeah, or she'll keep the tag on. She'll be like, I think this is you, but I'm not sure. Yeah. There are very few people I allow. Because you wear it, clothes. you know, like, my dad bought me a really cute watch from Brighton for Christmas a few years ago. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was so small, and I have these big yeah. old hands. Yeah. It, it, I would never wear it. Yeah. So I just said, Dad, I'm going to go, and I'm going to look, and I found a big Brighton. Yeah. yeah. That's a legitimate chunky, excuse to take it was me, back. And that's was, what you wanted. And, it was, and I wore it every day. Yeah. Yeah. And the one that he bought me, I probably would have worn it maybe once a year. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway. I'm a words person. I mm -hmm. really, I, I give and I receive by words. Like, tell me I'm pretty and feed me. We love you. <laughs> you're okay. so amazing. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. So yeah. you're gifted. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, but I also, I really like to give gifts. Yeah, um, me too. For my job, what I do is I run camps. And so um, one of my favorite things to do is when we go up to camp, we go and we work with the staff, and I love to make them stuff. Mm -hmm. I always bring them like cookies or brownies, and yeah. for me, I love that. So yeah. I, I love to like give, and I love to like tell people how great they are. So um, <laughs> I do like that's just like how I've yeah. noticed. Like that's yeah. how I like that's sweet. No, I think I that's love. how we get along. Cause I if if you buy me a gift and if it's a really thoughtful gift that you know I yeah. like and it's accompanied with a card, yeah. I'm done. Yeah, exactly, I'm done. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I put a lot of thought sometimes into my yeah, gifts. Yeah, that's how I do Christmas. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so for instance, um, I have a friend who's, she loves Disney, and there's all these little Disney charms, and I'm going to make her like a, char a Disney oh. necklace, because I know like that's like her favorite thing. Yeah. So it's like those types of things, and um, one, one year, I had a good friend, and her and I had gone to the mall together, and I honestly, I was done, she, she was one of those people where she gets anything that she wants, so mm -hmm. it's so hard to buy for her, yeah. and I didn't want to buy her a gift card. Um, and so we went to the mall and we walked around and I was watching things that she liked. And so mm. we left and I went right back in and I bought a few yeah. things that she had picked up a few times and then just put back. Yeah. Um, and I remember like opening up a gift and the gift she gave me for Christmas and I was like, I didn't want this. Mm -hmm. So like, Aww. I think, you know, and like, it's really hard cause it was like, yeah. man, I really put a lot of thought into this. And then now here's like the other side is like if I really put a lot of thought into giving a gift to someone and they haven't given me a gift, that's rough. Then they feel really bad. But yeah. I'm not always. I don't want people to always give me sure. gifts. Yeah. Like for me, it's more about the giving, the season of giving than receiving. Yeah. So it's like it's just so it's such like a, it's hard sometimes. I think for people like us, we give we get something for giving. giving. Yeah, that's true. So I spend a lot of time on it, and it's like. Yeah. I got joy out of thinking how to bless you. Yeah. And that's okay. Okay, but what do you do if somebody gives you a gift that you haven't given them before? Oh, that's always so tough. That happens a lot when you work with, like, younger kids. Uh -huh. They're like, Miss Lauren, I brought you this. And it depends. I mean, like, I work with children a lot, so if they bring you something, oftentimes it's stewarded by the parents, and the yeah. parent is not expecting you to give your right. kid a gift out of yeah. all of the kids. Yeah. So that's usually an easy getaway, and a lot of the times that's, like, a scarf or, like, a thing of nail polish. Yeah. Not to say that that's not the sweetest, right. but it's also right. not, like... 
fifty dollars worth of right. something. I think I I don't know if I've ever gotten super caught in like somebody bought me a gift that I didn't have one in return for. But because I'm such a gift giver, it's really easy to write a card and be like, you know, I just don't have it here for you right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's (laughs) what I have for you right now. I mean, it doesn't exist, but it's going to. (laughs) It is somewhere. I had two friends that went in and bought me a rather expensive gift this last year. And for the both of them, I had gotten one of them um, a t-shirt of her favorite Disney characters because I have a lot of friends like Disney um of her favorite Disney characters and then like something else I don't remember and then for uh, my guy friend I had made him a blanket with Mm. his favorite sports team so like I had put some thought and effort into what they wanted and then they came together and they gave me a really big gift and I was like oh my gosh I suck at life like you know what I mean like but so I think like sometimes it's not the same like I had given them a gift but they had given me something I guess that was so much better Mm. that well you know what I mean like in that financial yeah and so for me I'm kind of like stuck but then it's like you know my friends know where I'm at financially you know so if they know you yeah yeah. then you know so I think um one of the things that we had talked about before we were talking with you guys we had talked about um like maybe like inexpensive gifts Mm. um like Lauren and I both don't have very high paying jobs. So if you want to give us more money, that's <laughs> great. Um, no. Send, please send gifts to you. Yeah, yeah. But I like to do, sometimes I like to, um, I like to do little like coupon books. Yeah. And like, you know, like one free hug. No, but not, not that chintzy. But you know what I mean? Well, maybe. Actually, uh, no. you will get lucky. For money. those people who are not <laughs> physical touch, it's like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Redeem don't win. tag me. Yeah, don't ever on me. Expire, expire. Um, but I like to do those types of things. Or honestly, like quality time. Yeah. Totally. I love to be like, hey, I'm going to treat you. Like, I do those yeah. things for birthdays. Mm-hmm. I'm going to treat you to dinner. That's my gift to you. And like, mm-hmm. let's hang out. That's fun. So in the month of October, I was talking to my mom about like what it looks like to bless people. And she was talking about a specific group of people. But I said, how do they feel love? And I think that that's really important when yeah. you're gift giving because for you, yeah. you've talked about words. Clearly, words is how you feel love. Right, so we don't have to drop one thousand dollars on your birthday gift. No, we but drop you can drop one thousand words. Yeah, write me. How do you feel write love? a book about exactly. how you love me? Exactly. <laughs> that's it's a great book. I think everybody should write one of those. Yeah. I'm just kidding. But yeah, so it is. It is. It's totally knowing people. Yeah. So um, there is a little tip. I love to Black Friday shop. Hey. Um, and so if you work like in an office where it's kind of like maybe mandatory that everybody gives gifts or you do a, a secret Santa. Mm-hmm. Um, and now these are, un- I don't think that these aren't thoughtful gifts, but these are gifts. Bla- Bath and Body Works always has great, oh, great yeah. deals during the holidays. And if it's for a coworker and it's kind oh, of required, yeah. insensitivity kind of doesn't yeah. really become a word anymore. Yeah, just, yeah, exactly. And it could be just anything. Just card. And, Give them gift cards. Get, but honestly, everybody loves good smelling lotion. That's true. Every and you can never have too much. Yeah, and Ooh, males too. Actually, peppermint is so good. yeah, Come the on. peppermint. Yeah, Come on. you always have the three for three, so you technically get six lotions for thirty six dollars. And then go. if you have coupons, it's less than that. Come I on. technically always kind of save around two hundred dollars every Black Friday. At Bath and Body wow. Works. I think Bath and Body Works is paying us for this video. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so these are just a few tips. I think we kind of gave you guys quite a few ideas and maybe just a little bit of insight as to how it is to handle situations. <laughs> or handle us. Apparently. Yeah, and buy gift cards for everybody. No, don't ever. Um, <laughs> and write me a book. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, uh, it was really great to have a chat with you guys. Uh, don't forget to check out fashionmagazine.com and then check us out on all of our uh, social medias. We're there and we are... See you next year. Because it'll be next year.